Okay, there are texts in the Bible that are so familiar, we know them so well, they come up over and over and over again, and we're always looking for new ways to preach them in a way that will be creative and, and shed new light. Um, I, I, of course, that's, that is a good thing, to be, uh, to be innovative and to have something that's uh, going to capture people's attention, even if they know the story and have, and have, have heard it before. Though I, I warn about being too concerned with that. Sometimes the preachers know the text a lot. They're more familiar to the preacher uh, than they are to the, all of the people in the congregation. And uh, just because we've preached on this text many times before, it doesn't mean that everyone else has, has heard the message. Uh, I do think, though, that we can keep ourselves fresh often by being in touch with the people in our congregations and asking them questions about these stories and these texts and, and seeing how they respond to them. It's one of the things that I, I, I do in my book is simply take a Bible story and ask several lay people uh, a question about the text and then record all the different answers that I get. And as I've shared those answers with pastors, I find that they're often surprised by things that the laity say. Uh, sometimes it's they are surprised or appalled by the terrible misunderstanding that it never would have occurred to them that anybody would have thought the text meant this and it never would have occurred to them to try and correct it. Uh, but other times it's much more positive that the, the laity are indeed finding something in the text for themselves that the preacher just perhaps would not have noticed. I, I think this is a, it's a healthy discipline to have a, a trusted group of people in the congregation with whom you are uh, dialoguing about uh, scripture texts and they help to teach us and to give us fresh insights.